Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Name Pending. I'm Manny. And I'm Fabio. And today we are reacting to Invincible Season 2, Episode 6. It's not that simple. I think that's the title of the episode. I don't know. I did not check. I'm going to assume that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. This is my second Invincible reaction on the channel. I posted my um, first one to the mid-season premiere last week. And this time I have Fabio with me. As I said in my last video, I am a show-only watcher, so I haven't read the comics, but... I have read the comics from start to finish. So, so good. So peak, especially in the later arcs. I know we're probably not going to see that for, like, a few years, but some yeah. of the stuff that they got in there, even the stuff that we're leading into now, is going to be so sick. So I just can't wait to see it. Yes. So you have a bit of a balance of both comic reader and show-only... Uh, reactors which is nice sadly i don't have any reactions to previous the previous invincible season nor the first half of episodes for this season because you know the fact that my channel did not exist back when those <laughs> came out but we're here now and i'm excited to react to the rest of the show I guess i'll just get into it yeah Fuck. oh my guy rex this guy's traumatized he just watched two of his closest friends just die he's not gonna die here though not after the cutoff last episode. No shot he died. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh. Wait. Well, I was. What? Oh shit, he's dead. <laughs> this guy knows oh. what the fuck happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, I was so confident he wasn't gonna die there. Still don't think he's dead. Somehow. Ooh. Almost Dude, he's locked in, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he's controlled his fear response. Remember that? Yeah. Oh. You could have been useful, sir. The immortal is always taking owls, man. Instead. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him take a thing away. <laughs> yeah. How strong is Bulletproof, too? Uh, how strong is Kevlar? Pretty strong. <laughs> oh, cause, uh, that's a good one. Oh, can they not this hear? This has to be the most annoying thing to fight against. Oh. Stop it! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it! Cover me. He's speaking facts though. Mark? Mark. Yeah. He's way he's way stronger than Immortal. Yeah, Immortal's kinda sore after the whole no one situation. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Eve Yeah, Eve, you're awake. Oh I said in my last reaction. Why does Rudy even need to be in the suit at all? Like, I know, he can I... control it remotely. Why I feel like that's a big advantage, and there's no need to risk himself. Yeah. Oh no! Oh! They did it! Oh yeah! Gotcha. We did it. That poor astronaut, hey? We what? Told you we were too powerful. Oh no, Eve? Under Stegwig control? Can they control her powers too? I mean, I would assume. Why are you asking questions like you don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know the show does stuff differently sometimes. Does it? See, I'm used to watching anime where the Anime is usually one to one with the manga. Oh no, the the there's a, there's already a lot of different variations with the comics and the show, but like the main things seem to be seem to be like they seem to be sticking to the main script. They've made quite the mess of your precious little missile base. I I'm not sure cannot ever I can't believe that Rex is dead. Like I refuse to. Oh, duplicate. Half of the, nation. the way they cut off the last episode, it was like something was gonna save him. Yeah. <laughs> this brave little soldier. 
Oh. Oh my God. Oh, his hand. His bones sticking out. <laughs> Yo, Rex is holding it fucking down Rex. for the guardian. Can you punch him with his severed hand. <laughs> He's fucking holding it down. Oh! 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 oh I thought he was gonna curve something. So. Oh my god! Get this kid some medical attention. <laughs> That's a weird question. Oh my god, it's spurting out of his brain. Huh? Never better? Oh. <laughs> you know me. I'm practically. I like that. That was good. Man! Rex straight up with the redemption arc. Rex I mean, is not fully redeemed, but like. Canonically the strongest human <laughs> in the <this show. laughs> Because what the hell? Jeez. Oh, she's alive! Oh! Yes! Oh See, my See, I had a God. feeling she looks also pretty fucked up. Yeah! Oh. You saved us from the sequins, but we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer. <laughs> What? That's fair to be honest, bro. This guy is, Are you looking this guy around if you don't know who that is? You must remain here for punishment. I mean, yeah. What kind of punishment? Death. Oh. Oh. I understand. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, Mark's not gonna. Damn. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's just woken up. This guy was blocked out for how long? And he still <laughs> looks like him, so he's like, who the fuck is this guy? Oh, he's about to take him up. Yeah, to be honest, Mark solos him at this stage. Don't kill him. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's killed them. They're dead. Yeah, they're... Damn. These guys did nothing wrong. Their whole place was, like, <laughs> taken over by sequins. Yeah. And they rightfully tried to persecute... To prosecute the the person responsible, <laughs> and they're just getting <laughs> fucked up even more. Oh, they have spacesuits! Thank God. I'd like, be like, no way you just yeah. I was able to control my fear response this time. Change myself, fix the problem. I can do the same for Don't. But it just makes sense. I said, don't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Right. Really needs to learn how to let it go. Let's be honest. That's not the only reason you're here. It never is. has an entire department dedicated to superhero children. Right. He wants to dissect that child so badly. He wants to fucking control that child. He wants the new army man. Yeah. Mom is far, far away. The moment she hands this kid over, he's training him from day one. Yeah. We win. But we're here if you need us. And I expect to be kept in the loop. Why do we think Cecil's not gonna take no for an answer? Mm -hmm. just want to go home. Yeah, just set this man home. Sleep. They never let me sleep. Damn. Damn. Hey, this guy. Yeah, the robot. Cyber. Oh, they don't know yet. Yeah. No, oh, they don't. Damn, oh yeah. Shit. That was a shorty. <laughs> what? It's like a hundreds of years age difference, though. Yeah. Kind of sus. Oh, is that a freaking ray? Oh, fuck. She looks, she's more fucked up than I thought. Oh. But yeah, bro, at you least him she's alive. Her? Oh, the Rex? The show does not hold back on, like, physical damage to some main characters. Yeah, I've never seen a cast of main characters survive such damage in a show. I wouldn't be surprised if Wreck 
Uh, and what if Rex, like when he recovers, ends up with some like significant brain damage or memory loss or loss of regular function? Maybe, but I mean they have like pretty sick tech here. Like they were able to bring Immortal back. Good job, Oliver. His head. Oliver. I mean, I would appreciate some stakes because Brabra. if people can just come up from damage that oh, Brabra. Brabra. if coming if people can come back from damage that easily in the show, then like. It doesn't hold as much weight whenever it happens. I think Rex is just him. You know? He's him. Wait, what's she name? Him? Oliver. Ah. After the grandpa. Though her powers came from a family curse, she believed they were a gift. Family curse. Did you duplicate yourself? Do you think that this world her parents good. knew of the curse before naming her? Nah, her, her main power was homewrecking. Over and over. No. <laughs> I I loved many others before Kate. Oh. All of them died as well. Oh. But this... This is different. Not only physical ills, but emotional ills. <laughs> yeah, man, give, give a mortal a break. And I'm also getting used to chewing his food for him now. I like Amber. I like Amber. Like his food this season. I love how you have to specify this. <laughs> I don't know. They made her super annoying the first season, but yeah. like she also didn't know of the whole superhero stuff. Except she did. Oh yeah, she yeah. did. Rick. How are you? Oh. Hi, Mark. Hey, um, he's back. I guess I'm fine. He's doing right. I'm here to help facilitate his transition. I think we're going to ask this guy why he's still alive. Can do just... <laughs> uh, you look like shit. And My guy. And it looks like this. <laughs> Treat it in a new hand, too. Yeah. Lucky me. Yeah, as soon as he lost his hand, I'm like, he's going to get a badass, <laughs> like, new <laughs> um, prosthetic hand. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. To every woman. People in general. <laughs> None of them deserved it. I don't know why I had to get my brains blown out to see <laughs> just gonna say, <laughs> Had to get a shot in the head to realize he was an asshole. I'm glad that Mark and Rex ended up as decent friends. Yeah. It turns out Rex really likes home decorating magazines. I think it's because he's never really had a home. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I think this guy really likes food. Probably because he grew up starving and, and eating meal. <laughs> eating scrap. Your resume is very impressive. Yes. But I don't think you're the right fit for us. No. No. I'm not comfortable hiring a spy. Spy? I don't understand. I was married to Nolan for 20 years. The diesel sender? Yeah. Wow. Told you. What if that was like not Cecil's? I'm April what the? You should know I'm kind of. Also, the other lady, Cecil, didn't send that other lady. <laughs> My philosophy on child rearing is simple. So the other woman must have been like, who the fuck is he? <laughs> How the fuck is your baby blue? Purple. I'm a spy now? <laughs> I work for you, Miss Grayson. Not Cecil. Period. Lies. Not him. No. As soon as she steps out of the house, she's gonna be training him. <laughs> yeah, right. You up there? Amber? Your place really blends in with the trees. It's a really nice place. Mm -hmm. I, I love the tree house. It's not like anyone can break in, too. You have to fly to get in there. Well, I, I bet if you're determined enough. <laughs> I told you it's going to be another four hours. It's Damn. Mark Hamill. Done fast or done right. Art is always pissed, hey? Girl trouble. That's yeah, obvious. Huh? It's, it's all over your face, face kid. Oh, Apparently, Mark is the most readable person <laughs> ever. 
I love Amber. Like even I want Rex to with her, and but... brain damage could see. Yeah. Like the universe is conspiring against us. It doesn't matter if you're a superhero or a Joe. The problem is, I'm invincible. But it's Saw that coming. But bad things, things happen. Mark, Mark has to drop everything and go. Yeah. Everything, including you. Damn. Mark, Mark needs someone who is there for her, who really understands what she's going through in college. And seems like they're more in tune than they think. Yeah. I knew dating Mark would be difficult. I just didn't know it would be so lonely. I feel like I'm failing Amber. Damn. Why are you here talking to me when you should be talking to him? Go home, Mark. Go. He was saying it with attitude. You see that? Hey, the dating superhero life is not for everybody. No one wrote more than just travel books. What? He wrote sci-fi novels under a pen that. Oh yes. None of them sold right, so he gave it up. Can you? What's the deal with these books? Tip once. <laughs> Hate tribes on the planet wreck. I told Nolan they were great, real exciting. I never read them. <laughs> Little was known about the space rider. He was a mystery. Stories about him stretched across the twelve galaxies. But in all of them, one detail remained constant: the infinity ray. But it required a steady hand, and more importantly. Really? Pretty big target. It'd be hard to miss. <laughs> J.K. Simmons would be a really nice um, audiobook narrator. Yeah, right. Oh, oh shit! A powerful weapon. Damn. Damn. Kind of reminds me of what they hit Nolan with in season one. Well, it's most expensive nosebleed. But the planet had other plans. Oh. Decapitation. Ragnars. Oh. Maybe Nolan's writing from like his real world experience. Maybe Ragnars are real. Surrounded. Swarm. Overwhelmed. I've battled creatures ten times. No way. What did he What do you realize? When he was reading the first book, did you hear how the the last thing said if the infinity ray is real, it'll become a problem for our mission. Mm. How dare you? Sykes concerned. So am I. And since she refused to see our specialist. I don't need your pinheads! I, need I said I'm fine. Jesus, that's what? not sound fine. <laughs> Someone's coming in hot from deep space. Omni Man. Oh, could be Alan. He's bad. He's a he's recovered now. Mm -hmm. That's my guy. Yoke. <laughs> yeah, he's huge now. Yeah. Dude, you can clearly see that's not Omni Man. <laughs> How can I hear you speak? Okay. Why is he so mad all the time? Omni Man sent you! This guy has some real Omni Man PTSD. <laughs> yeah, I do not want to hurt you, sir. Oh, in the eye. Hot shot. Invincible. What the hell is going on? And then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. <laughs> you have those on Earth, right? Douchebag. Yeah. Yes, we do. The guy. <laughs> oh, um, my thing only works between me and someone else, not between two others. <laughs> Hi, sir. Mark says I'm a pal. He also says I'm essentially the king of space. Uh, so <laughs> also, he says he hates your dumb beard because it's missing all the best parts of a beard. These parts. I don't believe you. He doesn't believe me. <laughs> Did Alan attack you? You just charged up here and attacked me. Not very heroic of you. Superhero of Earth. I... I thought you were someone else. Yeah, he has some issues. He really does need 
Yeah. Yeah. Getting shit sorted out. Yeah, man. This show does not make it easy for reaction. You gotta mute a lot of shit for copyright. Oh, uh, yeah, right. My planet, sock on the door means somebody's fucking. Yeah, it's the same here. <laughs> Dude, Alan's huge now. <laughs> yeah, he must be like Sorry. over a thousand plus pounds. Yeah, man. He's like seven <laughs> foot. My boss Thetis is also a Viltrumite. What? About my dad. Yeah. He took him away. Said they're gonna execute him. If just bro, just have to recap season one for him. <laughs> Season two, season two. Don't you weird yeah. killing your own people. I think because it doesn't happen much anymore. That used to be all they did. Time to escort you to Telestria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. Yeah, he definitely needs to break up with Amber. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. This could be our chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Isn't that what you want? Of course. But. Amber and I are in a weird place, and Mark, you know Viltrumites are coming for Earth. I'm gonna have to fight now. Nah, I don't fight for us because I would win, and then I feel terrible. Like he hasn't brought that up since what's his face told him, like your job is now to conquer Earth. Mm -hmm. It's like he's ignoring it. That's Space Racer. But Space Rider in the book. It's Space Racer in real life, and he is legendary. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if he's real or not. Okay, so I think everything in these books is real. That's what I thought. And it's all mm -hmm. stuff that can hurt Viltrumites. That's why my dad oh. told me to read his books. He's telling us how to defeat the Empire. Oh, shit. Interesting. Can I, uh, can I scan these to take back to the Coalition? This will be a lot. Interesting. All right. No one's always been conflicted, eh? Because the fact that he took the time to write those. Hmm. He's just holding his finger. <laughs> we need someone for the actual fight. I'll be there. That's my guy. Hey, Mark. Are you and Amber done yet? That fact's been on the door for hours, and I really need to go to bed. <laughs> Yet for even such a craven betrayal, there is a path to redemption. Let this not be your legacy. Nah. <laughs> you conquered hundreds of planets, brought glory to the Empire. Oh. How did a mere moment on Earth... So it was, it was like something about Earth that turned him. Mm-hmm. Who's Debbie? Oh, me. Debbie and Mark. Hmm. Damn. What are those guards? The planet and its people are toxic if they could do hmm. this to you. They too will pay. Oh, shit. <sighs> I was just about to say, what is this prison made of if it can hold a Vilchaman? I don't know if it could hold, too. but like I feel like if Omni Man really wanted to, he could break out. But uh, like they would just catch him and then just put him in another room. Uh -oh. I don't feel like that's a big risk. Ooh. Still got some sequins. Oh in shit! Damn. Oh no! Oh no! Please don't be a sequin. Fuck! Oh shit! This poor guy, bro. He cannot catch a break. Oh, that feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, my. Shit. Mm, an excellent fit, if I do say so myself. Ooh, is this finally... What's the occasion for such a fine suit? Yes. I've been wondering where he was. Hmm. <laughs> Angstrom Levy got a power up and then disappeared for like five episodes. Zombies, Tundra. It's the Walking Dead universe. Earth? Oh. It is good to be home. 
Is obvious. Kirkman Damn. reference? Yeah. Shit. Of course, Kirkman has to loop in his other. His I other, missed it because I'm not used to The Walking Dead and like animated. Yeah. Even in comics, it's black and white. All right, that was Ooh. Invincible season two, episode six. It's not that simple. That was a great episode. I feel like a lot of the season has been like set up for bigger things to come. Mm -hmm. I mean, in fairness, much like season one. Season one was a fairly like slow burn for the majority of it until like a very explosive finale. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting something to blow up in these next two episodes. My biggest thing with Mark right now is that he was given a very clear uh, direction by General Craig there that <laughs> yeah. the Viltrumites are coming for Earth and he needs to prepare or, you know, face consequences. And I feel like he just kind of put that on the back burner. I mean, I think he knows that they're... Because I'm, I'm assuming he would have told Cecil and them, you know. Did he? I feel like you have to, right? If he's going to tell them I feel like else. if you told them, or it would have happened Debbie. on the screen. I feel like he would... Maybe. But... Because uh, if he, he told he actually Cecil... Didn't, he didn't brief Cecil at all. If, remember? Yeah, exactly. Because if he told Cecil, knowing Cecil, he would immediately like freak out and start doing everything he could to prepare. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a Viltrumite invasion we're talking about. Even Nolan was too much to handle. Yeah. So a whole army of them. Nolan, I mean, Cecil doesn't seem to me like he knows. Otherwise, he wouldn't be spending his time trying to, you know... Uh, Find a way to, like, defeat a Viltrumite. No, he he's like, he he's spent this whole episode trying to take Oliver off of Debbie's hands, and that doesn't feel like a priority if, you know, mm -hmm. Viltrumites are coming. So, I don't think Mark told him. Unless it is. Like, they know that Oliver has fast aging and they don't know when the Viltrumite's gonna come and they live for thousands and thousands of years so like a few months or a year to them is nothing I mean maybe I just feel like that is important information that if Mark told Cecil we would have seen that and yeah. had Cecil's reaction and so far Cecil has it's been a non-reaction so I don't think he told him mm -hmm. so I think Mark's just ignoring that for now. Yeah. Because girlfriend issues. But, but I feel like, like neither, of, neither of them are um, really happy in that relationship. Like, obviously, they like mm -hmm. each other, but it's, it's not working out just logistically mm -hmm. with Mark's whole superhero deal. Yeah. So it's probably best for them to break up. Yeah, you can tell they care about each other. But it's like, they just live two different lives. And it's especially, see, it's not like Mark is some B-tier superhero. He's the Earth-saving superhero that you call every time the Earth's about to get fucked up. Yeah, like, know? he's... He's the strongest defender on Earth. And so, like, he's probably going to be, like... He's no one most replacement, busy. essentially. Yeah. And, like, his missions are in space for, like, two months. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, the average Joe just, like, you know. In fact, I feel like once Cecil hears about that, that Viltrumite invasion, he is going to be pissed at Mark for not telling him earlier. But, yeah, that could be true, too. I just, no, I just feel like that's a big thing that mm -hmm. hasn't been brought up since. But And how would they prepare? Like, because they got Mark. And... Well, there, there's now. There's this whole thing of a a group of what? What do they call themselves? Oh, of a coalition. The coalition of, of planets. Yeah. Now there's this whole coalition of planets whose sole purpose is to fight the Viltrumites, mm -hmm. and they just try to recruit Mark. And I feel like they would be a powerful ally yeah. if the Viltrumites are coming for Earth but... to help defend Earth. At least, at least, Alan. Yeah, I, I just feel like that's. Mark just ignoring that is not going to end up well. Mm -hmm. But now we have Angstrom Levy to worry about. Man, for you comic readers, you know what's coming? I don't. Going on. We got Rex being an absolute 
chi yeah. in this episode. I love I love how they did this episode with like with the conclusion to Lizard League's attack on like the Guardians of the Globe and the Cichlids. Oh yeah. It was satisfying seeing each of them catch dubs and Shrinking Ray lived. Like I'm, Rex gl- lived. I'm really glad Shrinking Ray lived. Yeah. Like she's not a very significant character, but it's nice that all three of them didn't just mm-hmm. die. Because I'll, I'll do a spoiler for the comics right now. Shrinking Ray doesn't live in the comics. Oh. Yeah, and she doesn't even die in that way. In the comics, uh, the lizard guy just chucks in, chucks shrink, and Shrinking Ray is also a guy in the comics. Like gender swapping, yeah, yeah. But he he just chews him to death. Like he just shoves him in his mouth and just like. Oh. Damn. And then he goes, yum. But that yeah. scene was so gruesome how they did that. But it, it's one of my favorite parts about the show. Yeah. <laughs> they had a YouTube. Okay, so we were just talking about how, you know, how General Craig gave Mark this whole situation where, you know, the Viltrumites are coming, you have to conquer Earth or face the consequences. Mm-hmm. Prepare. And Mark just never brought that up. Like he didn't seem to have told Cecil. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, even Malin just and came trying to recruit him to the coalition, and he didn't even mention that. Yeah, yeah I think he's just so. He's, he's just so more old. focused on Amber and yeah, date dating life. Yeah, uh, it's gonna it's just too long. Drop Amber mm-hmm. quick. Yeah, she's so much better this season than she was season one. Yeah, eh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. still bringing up how he lied to her lied to her yeah. <laughs> i mean technically it was lying but it's also like so has every yeah, other bro. superhero who dated who do you think next bad guy is i thought it'd be angstrom levy well you did get that little who ending else is in the running right now well they have they're setting up a bunch of guys yeah the sequids are still around. oh yeah they're still around yeah that's fine that, that... <laughs> i am too <laughs> That poor guy he just keeps getting fucked up. That guy is so annoying. I'm like, okay, we finished it. Like, let it come back a different day on a different planet or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... Oh, man, bro. Like, as a comic reader, don't get me wrong, this stuff is so sick. And it's so cool to get to see this, like, animated. But my favorite part of the Invincible storyline. Is definitely the second half. Oh, yeah. that's how I felt watching like Attack on Titan season three, knowing the absolute madness. <laughs> yeah, comes let's go in season, in season four. four. Uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 that same feeling, you know. And I, and they're doing it justice. Like I, I'm I'm loving how they're doing it with the, like with the the emotion you hear in the voice acting is really nice to see. Like the voice acting, voice actors taking it the, seriously. Some of the strongest parts of the mm-hmm. show for me. Anyway, this was the great episode. Looking forward to next week with the penultimate episode and then the finale yeah, the week after that. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments. And I will see you next time. In the next.